all right then uh, let's start with the exception handling in register activity so what actually happens is uh, whenever there is any error the java will stop working and generate some error messages and uh, the technical word or the technical term that we use in java is that the java will throw an exception so for that we use try and catch statements now to catch the exceptions or the errors we have to get inside the register user method and within it we have this on complete method and within the on complete we have this if statement where we are checking if the task was successful or not now if the task was not successful which means there was some error then we need to catch those errors so we will just add one else part to this if statement so you can check where this if statement is ending there you can start with the else part then within the else we will define the try statement or the try block the try statement allows you to define a block of code which are going to be tested for errors while they are being executed here we are going to use a throw statement now this throw statement allows us to create a custom error and this statement is used with an exception type and depending on the object there might be different types here we are using task dot get exception that means we want to get the exceptions for the task that we were doing earlier and the task was to register the user so if the registration was complete or there was some error in the task this throw method will get those exceptions and then after the tribe statement we will use the catch statement now the catch statement allows us to define a block of code which has to be executed in case any error occurs. So here either we can define all the particulars or all the specific exceptions if you know them. Otherwise we can just define exception E and let the message in the exception be displayed as the error message. But just to illustrate or show the kind of exceptions that we have in Firebase, I'm just defining some of the specifics. So let's have Firebase auth weak password exception. This exception is thrown in case a weak password has been entered. If the user has entered a password which is less than six digits, this exception will be thrown. But in any case, I don't think this exception will be thrown because we are checking the password entered by the user. If it is less than six, we are already letting the user know by the use of if else statement but anyways i'm just doing this to show you how to throw the exceptions and then cache them and what we can do with the error messages so here i'm just going to display the error message on the edit text Let's define the another exception. Firebase auth invalid credentials exception. So this exception will be thrown when the email is invalid. And also invalid credentials exception might be thrown when the user email ID and passwords do not match. In the same way, let me just define one more exception. Firebase auth user collision exception. Then we will just finally throw exception E so that all the other type of exception can be caught by this catch statement. And then we are going to write those error message in the log. Now here we are using log.e. 
there are many other methods to use the log function like log.v, log.d or i or w or e. Here I am using log.e. So this is going to send an error log message and also it is going to log the exception. Here we have to define two parameters. First is the tag. Tag is used to identify the source of a log message. So it usually identifies the class or the activity where the log call occurs. So in this tag variable, we are going to save the name of the activity. And then second parameter defines the error message. So for that, we can just use e.get message. E is the exception which was caught. So we can just use e.get message. After that, I'll just display one toast message. And in the toast message, I will just display the error that was generated. All right. Import the necessary class for log. Now let's define the tag variable. So we can define the tag as a global variable and it should be static and final also. And the value for the tag will be the name of the activity. All right. Because that is the source from where we are logging this error message. All right, then let's run the app. Let me try to register. I don't know what is wrong with my emulator. The mouse pointer keeps changing. But anyway, as long as it is working, we are doing fine. Anyways, I'll just fill up the details quickly. So you can see that it is showing the error. User is already registered with this email, use another. Because we have already registered in the app using the same email ID. So it won't let me register again with the same email ID. And also we have to take care of this progress bar because it is not stopping. It should stop once the error is displayed. So let's get back to the code. 